Okay, so question two from the 2019, we have our kinetics question, right? So reaction kinetics, sorry, I'm trying to find one where I can get the whole thing on here. Reaction kinetics can be used to determine the order and mechanism of chemical reactions, such as statement, okay? A proposed mechanism for the reaction between hydrogen peroxide and iodide ions we've got here. Okay, so we've got three steps. One slow, two fast. That should automatically have you going, okay, this is going to be a rate determining step. And these guys are not going to have anything to do with it. Okay, what is meant by the order of reaction? Right, there's loads of things in the mark scheme for this one. Um, but you can put lots of different options. Have a check to make sure yours, whatever you put down is right. Um, so number of species in the rate determining step, basically. Obviously you can have more than one rate determining step. But limiting step or slowest step or any of these and it could be number of particles number of, of element number of reactants and there's loads of different options of how you say it okay overall order of reaction right so ignoring two and three because they've got nothing to do with it one has and so we look at what's going in so here's our hydrogen peroxide and here's our iodide one of each of them so two second order okay rate equation for this rate equals now you need to have a small k not a capital K, however you want to show that it's a small K, but make sure it's a small K, otherwise you're going to lose the mark. And then we've got the concentration of the hydrogen peroxide and concentration of iodide, all just first order for each of these, so I don't put any other numbers in. I did check and it noted on the mark scheme that if you put in the state symbols, that's fine, but they've got to be right. So whichever ones, you, and you've got to have both of them if you're putting any one of them in. Okay, right, write a balanced equation for the overall reaction. Okay, right, so let us let me just uh, wipe off this little scribbly bit so that we can get this sorted. Right, so what we're trying to do here is to get rid of anything which is coming in and out. Okay, so what I mean by that is, so for this one here, I've got uh, my iodate ion here, um, but this is also my iodate ion coming back out here. So these two, this is kind of coming out and then going straight back in, it's being used up. So this is not part of the final equation. And you're looking for anything else that might do that. And there's one more of this one here. Okay, get rid of that. Right, now we just have to look for each one. So hydrogen peroxide, there is one going in and that's it. There's nothing else to do with the hydrogen peroxide. Okay, the iodide ions. Okay, we have one going in here. Nothing coming out of iodine, but we've got another iodide going in. So that's going to be two of those. And... We've got one, two, three, four waters coming out, none of them going in. And we've got, using all of my highlighter colours, uh, we've got a couple of um, hydronium ions. And lastly, we've got an iodine coming out. So if we put all that together, our balanced equation should read hydrogen peroxide, okay, plus your two iodides. plus two hydroniums. That's all our ins, okay. Giving me uh, one iodide and four waters. That's an L, not an E, okay. That's it.